Good morning, everybody. Shannon and Karen with Wandering Out Yonder. Today, Shannon and I thought we'd invite you inside the van to tell you a little story. Yeah, so I'm going to give you a little bit of insight into my very busy head. Spins all the time. Right. Um, we had a camping trip planned at a local campground. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to my sister, uh, which I do pretty much every day. And I told her, I said, we're going to go camping. It's just a local campground, but I was really excited primarily because I was finally going to get some sleep. I don't sleep a whole lot. I don't normally sleep throughout the night, but for some reason in the van, I sleep sometimes 12 hours. Yep. So she asked me why I thought that that was the case. And I came up with a couple different things. Um, one theory being that maybe it was because I knew that we were going to do something fun or that we had just come back from doing something fun. I associate the van with fun. Maybe that was relaxing. Um, and she asked me if possibly it was because it was such a small space. And I said, I didn't think so because I'm actually a little bit claustrophobic. So the idea of the small space and comfort to me didn't click. So we kept talking and then later on that day, Karen and I were going down the road and I was telling her about this conversation. Yep. And the theories that I had why I slept better. And for me, it was pretty simple. Yeah. It was, she answered, Karen came, she nailed it right out of the gate. Really what it is, <clears throat> when we get into Fran, first of all, it it's a calming effect. All we have to turn do is turn her on and be inside and it calms you down. Yeah, the sound of the engine turning over. Right, because it's always, usually it means we're going to go so, somewhere and have do something fun. So it always just brings joy to us. But really and truly the biggest reasons are that when we are in Fran and when we are out camping, we turn off. So we're not at home being distracted by everything that you get distracted by. And I'm sure that all of you understand this completely. When I'm home, there is a million things to do. There's laundry, there's paying the bills, there's work, um, cooking, planning, going to the grocery store, whatever is on your agenda that has to be done. It's always spinning in your head when you're home. You never turn off. And then with the news lately and everything that's happening in the world, that's another spin that you go through. Yeah, it's constant anxiety. Yeah. Like the minute that you wake up, the yard needs mowed. You do the pile of dishes in the kitchen and then you think, oh gosh, I need to go downstairs and get something out of the freezer for dinner. And then your whole day is just constant checking things off of your list. You never really turn off. You're not in the now. You're always in the future of everything that you have to do. And I think that that's what it is, is when you're in the van, you're in the now. You really are there. Uh, you're not thinking about laundry, dishes, bills, work, um, things that distract you constantly all day long in your everyday life. And so I think that's what the big difference is. And probably another excellent thing about being in the van is when we don't have cell service. Mm -hmm. That does not allow that train to start going on in my head. Right. Right. So, because you, what you do when you have cell service, you get online. Yep. You check Facebook. You check work. In our case, it's work. Yep. Um, you might check messages from family and friends. You might get a bad message. So when we don't have cell service, that's actually even the best, even though we do worry a tad about not having it, but it also allows us to just continue being in the now without going back to the things that frustrate us or cause anxiety. And then here in the van, when I wake up, it's to the smell of coffee or the sound of the birds, Yeah, the smell of the trees outside. None of, of that whirlwind that you wake up to in your day-to-day -day life. So yes, the van is small. It is comfortable though. Very comfortable, yeah. And Karen also said it's a very controlled environment. We have everything that we need in here to be comfortable and nothing that we don't need to interrupt that experience. Right. So 
So I would say, you know, we've, we've been on camping trips and van trips where we did have cell service and we had family members with us and so forth and so on. Um, but the thing that you, we should always go back to is that we're in the now when we're in those situations. Um, if you put your phone down, you don't make that a priority to sit there with your phone when you do have cell service. That's my big thing is put your phone down because um, that's the biggest uh, contributor to you getting locked or, or drugged back into things you don't want to be dealing with at the time. You need to stay in the now. And that's to me the most important thing is to stay in the now. So, right, which which is, <clears throat> is an issue for me. I'm the way my head works, I'm always. 10 steps ahead of what's actually happening at, happening at the moment to try to utilize my time the best. However, when we're out, I, I am enjoying the time that I have, which is completely different. So Karen nailed it. I'm pretty sure that that's why I sleep better in the van. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the takeaway is, is, uh, Hopefully you guys also find that happy place for yourselves where you can be in the now and you can let go all of the anxieties in your life. Yeah. And this is how we do it. And so. Karen even mentioned it's it's like that for us in the woods. Mm -hmm. Anywhere that you can get away from your day to day and the stresses of, of normal life, normal life mm -hmm. seems to be um, a much more relaxing experience for yeah. us. All right, so we just wanted to share that little story with you. So, and thanks, thanks to my sister for making me think about it. Now yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks for watching, guys. We will see, see you, you later. later.